Okay, cool. So I just want to switch that off. I just take in attendance. Um, welcome back. Week four session. Hey. Um, and here's the QR code. The number of the day is 42. Um, you can scan the QR code to register for the session form. And you can just put in the number. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and then we'll start off with a few announcements. Okay, yeah, a few announcements. So some of you guys may still be taking the right email from you and if you have that email, but you guys have to change your grading scheme the grading scheme for this class. It's only pass fail. I think some of you guys signed up under grading, um, but this class should only be pass fail. We're not allowed to assign another grade, so it's important that you guys um, have a pass fail, or else I think I'm supposed to give you guys like an incomplete from like the heads of AppDev, and I don't want to do that. So make sure you guys switch. I think it happens till the 13th is when the, like, I think you have to do it later because I'm gonna change it, so. Do it when you can. If you can't find it, we can help you find it. Don't be generous. You can change things there. So, hey. All right. And now we're we'll going to go straight into a little bit of homework. You didn't get to finish a portion of recycling. Use the last bit that you need um, to do the homework and recycle you as a general to actually be able to do recycle you. So, I'm going to cover a little bit of that now. I'm going to switch over to Jesse's laptop, so give me a second. Okay, cool. So this is the same demo. Yeah, I just, yeah, okay. This is the same demo as last class, where we have, like, the students, and then we have all of the different, we have our student model, and we have the appropriate models and favorite colors. And this portion is going to work mainly with the adapter. So how this works is that it's a common it's a common software engineering paradigm called callbacks, where you specify functions that are that are implemented by whoever is calling on this function, and you notify whoever by calling on the callbacks. I kind of showcase I'll showcase this more explicitly, but the first thing you have to do is you have to define a callback interface. Yeah, a callback interface. Interface, callback interface, and in this case, I'll just name it um, on click, and I want to notify whoever is calling this adapter and calling this recycle view. I want to notify them the position of the cell that they just clicked on. So in this case, I'll put in the position here. But realistically, you can put in whatever you want that you want to notify. Um, the person, whoever is calling this function. So in this case, I just want to only specify the position, but if I want to specify, say, the student as well, I can also do that too. Nice. In this case, you have to pass, so now we have this interface, you have to pass that in in our, in our adapter here. So whoever is actually calling this function has to pass in an interface example here. So we can add in a argument for that. And now we have to actually attach the callback function to the given views. So in this case, we have our view holder. So we have we have two example views, I think. Yeah, if you go back to our, rec our recycle view cell, we have two views, just a text view for a text view and another text view. I'm going to also add a button. And I want to attach the onclick listener to this button. Android ID button okay. 
and then oh no comma I'm sorry layout with I'll do 100dp that's a fake button okay Android height on height wrap content and then I'll constrain this to the bottom to top to bottom of the text you name and then that's it what else am I forgetting do I need horizontal constraints right in this case I'm forgetting horizontal constraints so I'm just gonna add that oh let me get rid of this okay hopefully that's suitable so start to the start of um, I'll do parent too and then we also have to, since we added a new view, we have to add that to our view holder here. So I'm gonna add that here, view val button button equals view find view by id r dot id dot button. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, okay. Yeah, and then we can add, import that in. Right, so now we have this new button that we want to add. In this case, we want to attach the on-click listener to this, um, to this view here, to this view holder here. And the way you can do that, you can add in an initializer function. In this case, I want to add a on clicker, on click listener specifically to just the button. So I'll add set on click listener, and then I'll give it this. And then I also have to explicitly add the on click. Oh, yeah. First, I have to add in the interface for on click listener up here, because right now it's not refer. It doesn't know what this refers to because I haven't explicitly actually added. The interface to this view order class. So I need to make sure I do that. View on click listener. So in this case, I'm overriding the default on click listener of the button so that it refers to now one that I customly make. So now I want to customly make a on click listener as I do here. And this is where you can then call the callback, fun the callback function. So I click on this button and I want to tell whoever is. Calling this calling this object view that I just clicked on the that I just clicked on the button, so I can do um, call back interface. In this case, I want to get the position, so I can do adapter position. Finding adapter position, and then I also want to get the equivalent student that's at this position. So I can do m data set finding adapter position. Oh, hold on, dot on click. Oh, my callback interface. Am I forgetting? <laughs> Callback interface. Am I forgetting something? Hmm. Button set listener call interface. Oh, it's not an interface. It's passing in as a parameter. Yeah, I pass it in as a primary here, and I defined it here. I defined it here, and then in the view holder. Oh gosh. Have I done? Because right. I'm just not referring back to the call. Interfaces here because this is gray. I don't know why it's gray. Um, Technical difficulties. <laughs> give us a few minutes. Um, 
That's all right. Oh my gosh. Is half the way you do it? I mean, there's more of a way of doing it. Cause some I usually putting on bind, but on bind. Yeah, I usually put my unclick with my unbind recorder, but it's okay. Call back this. Okay, I think Wait, that. Then you don't need. Yeah, I don't need this. Sorry, it was 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's multiple ways of doing this actually, but. Um, do it in the unbind What Do you usually do it this way? Yeah. But I can find it the old fashioned way. Is it just like you do like holder dot like. Like dot and set on click listener. It depends on what they want to achieve. But you can have the body of unclick listener in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see how. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then. Do whatever. You can do collect and face dot unclick, and then you can pass in the position, yeah. and then also the student. So, yeah. and data set. This one. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. So wh why do you do it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. That's not how I did it for. Yeah. So so. It's like the transits. I don't know why this isn't working. Um. <laughs> so I can get rid of this. Okay. Yeah. So I think, let's just go with my way of doing it. Is that um for me there's because this is like kind of flexible, but for me, when I do it, I, you, I view like class view holder as a place where you define like where all the, com all the components and unbind view holder is the place that I do things to the components. So that's why I usually include it in the unclick, like include the unclick listener. And then if you want to change anything to the text, like style of the text, I usually do it in the unbind. But I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it inside the view holder class. Uh, we just haven't. I'm just forgetting, like, which is my fault. Recall. But yeah, this will work. And then in the actual, so now we have this defined in the adapter, and now you can go back to the main activity. And then if you see the adapter, you see how it's red here because mm -hmm. there's nothing that's being passed in for the callback interface. So now we have to explicitly define that. And the first thing we have to do is we have to specify um, the callback interface. And then we have to implement, it's going to ask, ask us to implement the function. So we do that. So let's say I click on this button. I click on the button, right? And then I call on click on the position and then the end data set position. So that calls the function here. And in this case, I have set position and set student that was clicked on at the instance that I clicked on the button in the adapter. 
then I can do whatever I want here. In this case, let's just simply log d the um, let's just log d the student name, I guess. Student name. Let's do student dot name. And we have to pass in the interface, so we'll just do this. And then let's try running it. Did I do log that D again? Yeah. Sorry, it's a really bad habit where I just unlock the default to D and you get out of that. Okay. Okay, so we have our receptive view here, and then let's check under the key student, and then let's just click on this button. And then we have Jesse here printed out because of the same flow. I click on it, I call the interface, callback interface, and then in the activity, it's executing what was called given the, given the information that was passed back to the main activity. And I can do the same thing for each of the other buttons. Chris, Adam, Dave, and then Steven. Yes, and then you can also, um, if you need to, let's say you want to have different, um, different on clicks, different like different functions to call on for different um, like elements in your respective view cell. Don't be afraid to add in more functions here. In this case, if I want on click view, of, let's say I only want, I only care about the position here. In this case, I want to attach this function to the entire the entirety of the cell, not just the button. So I can do that explicitly with on student. Oh, in this case, I think I have to add in a constraint layout. Oh, there's no ID for this. So in this case, I'll just give it a simple ID of layout. Fine. Layout can also be a component. It's just a component that contains other components inside. Yes, and then I can refer to if let's say I want to attach an onclick listener to the entirety of the. The entirety of the view, I can do that instead, and then call back and face on click view and then position. Just like that. And then run demo. Oh, main activity is not hashtag, it does not implement. Oh, I forgot to add implement the other functions. In this case, maybe you want to do about it. Yeah, I forgot to specify. Let's say I'll give it the same tag. In this case, I'll just only print out the position of the string. So if I click on the button, Using the name, and if I click on, let's say, anywhere outside of that, anywhere in the entirety of the cell, it'll give me the position number. So it's kind of like it has, like, there's like a hierarchy to it. If you just want to specify a specific component that you want to click on specifically, you can do that. If you want to specify the entirety of the view, let's say you have like a really, like, say you have like a, like an image or something with like a bunch of other things, you can specify the entirety of the view to click on instead by just specifying like the the parent, the parent view group in this case. So. Oh, there's another thing is um, sometimes you don't have to use a callback interface. Is if you are clicking a button and then you want to change something inside the recycle view item, you don't have to use the callback interface. You can just do the change like right here. For example, if you want to change the text view's color um, after a button click, you can just replace this whole thing with text view dot um, set text color uh, to something. Um, this uh, callback interface is especially helpful if you want a button change that affects the whole activity rather than just 
this recycled fuel. Yeah, it's a way of reporting information back to the main activity. So there's no yeah. other way that outside the activity, outside the main activity, there's no way that the main activity knows what's going on in the recycled view. So you have to use these callback interfaces to kind of report information back to your main activity. Okay. So for the rest of the class, we're going to have you guys do some um, simple exercise. Just get to as far as you can. So the exercise would be can a recycler view that has a text view of different colors and it has two buttons. It's just do as much as you can. So if you cannot finish this whole assignment, you just ask the professor if you want. So when you hit a button, if you click it, you're going to make the text. Like the the view has a color, like a string, a text view of the color's name. You're gonna change the text view to whatever color is regular. And there's another button. If you click it, you're gonna make the whole cell change the color that is regular. And if you click the cell, you're gonna make the cell look white. Right. So that's oh. Yeah, if you change the cell, you're going to make the cell look white, and let's see if you guys can do it. If you guys can think of any questions, let us know. Also, if you want to be creative about it, you can also be, if you click a button, you can make the whole layout, not just the recycle view, you make the whole screen, whatever color that you want. So, to start you guys off, um, you guys can create an array list of string of X color code, and a way to convert color code to color would be color. I'll write it. I'll write it here. Or color parsing. Or what? Color parse. Wait. Actually, I will just have part of my code here so you guys can refer. But yeah, this is a way to convert the color string, like a hex, to the actual color. Just let us know if you guys have questions or you can take a look at this. I'm just writing what you guys can hear. So if you click the button one, you change the whole recycle view like background into whatever color it is. And button two, you change the whole activity's background into whatever color it is. And if you click on any edge of like other parts of the cell, you will make the whole thing like you know, like white or whatever. So I'm typing it. On my computer. Can you do what? Can you do the whatever the exercise? Uh, yeah, you can stop sharing. Okay. You can do Windows. Windows. Wait, can I can I have some like just only see oh. the screen, like take a screenshot while I'm on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, it's okay. I don't have to. And then which part did you want to show? 
I just want to see that, have him see this part of the call. You can open two windows. You have two separate. You can open. But so you cannot open Andrew's studio twice. You can open two separate windows. Oh, wait. Let's open another. Which which one is it? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I mean, it's easier to find. And then just like drag this to the right side, and that'll only showcase on that screen, and then you can have a separate. I feel like we should use linear layout a little bit more. <laughs> I hate constraint layout now. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, I can just do it from here. Do you guys have any questions? No, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, if you guys have a question regardless to the homework, you can also ask it now. The four? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Spotify one, right? Yeah, the Spotify playlist. Yeah, I deleted them. Oh, okay. Wow, you're really fast at this. <laughs> it, sounds so it sounds sarcastic to me for some reason. Uh, no, it's true. I mean, you're about to <laughs> just as useful at a master and a developer at work. <laughs> Whatever. Do you have the wallpaper app some or was that deleted? I think that was deleted. Well oh, that's such a good but that's such a good homework. Why did we delete that? Yeah, we should have it back as actual credit. <laughs> no. Oh it's the next the next oh, it's one. Next one? Okay. <laughs> it's such a good next homework is such a good one. What did I say? Button one, you change the...
Oh, I'm just doing that. It will contain all of the knowledge in the demo. Wait. No. Well, it should be int, right? I'll be turning back an int. Hello. Hello. Um, I don't know where you left. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I can help you set up. I don't really know how to run it. So. Okay, I can help you set up. Do you have like your laptop? You can kind of like run you through it like step by step. I guess. Oh, I don't have it. But okay, I already okay. set up the Android Studio, but I just. Okay, I don't um, know. I can run. I have the emulator thing here. Like, do you have you learned anything yeah. about the AVD um, manager? Oh yeah, I oh, yeah, created okay. a phone like on the right side of. The okay. Um. Yeah. So basically, if you want to run the app, you just click this one. Like the one next to it. So there's one section that's talking about like AVD manager, all the emulator, and then the one the one button that's on the right of it is wrong app. Sorry. This one? Oh this it, one. It would not usually look like that. It will look like a triangle, a, a green triangle. Okay. So yes. if there is arrow, can I still like run it? Yeah, it's like a, it's like this. If you no. if there's an arrow, you can still run it but you'll crash. Oh, and there will be nothing like showing the AVD, right? Yeah, like in this case, I haven't finished coding, so, but I can, wait, I can debug it, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so if I like, I didn't see anything like showing up on the AVD, is that means like I have errors? <laughs> yes, so okay. if you see an error, like you want to see what exactly it is, you go to the bottom and there's like a lot of the things you can look at. And the one you would try to yeah. look at first is the wrong one. Like wrong usually have all the error message. Oh, yeah, I check that, but like the error message, I, I I can't really read it. It says like something like, I don't know if I like I I, I use that run and I run that it. That also and, work. Yeah, yeah, and there's like some some red arrows over there. So it means that there's error in your code. If I don't know the error message, I cannot help you with that. But you can come into office hour or post on edge what exactly the error message is. Okay, so I can just screenshot my code and post it on that, right? Do it private if you're okay. to do it. <laughs> yeah, do it private if you want to screenshot your code. Or, or you can just screenshot the, the error message, like whatever that looks bad. Yeah. In this case, for me, I will I will, I will copy over this and then post it on that. This will be fine. Like, you don't have to do private. Okay. But if you want to post your code with specific help, um, yeah. And tomorrow you're at two office hours in the afternoon. Really, like we were working off of the demo from last class, so it's basically oh. demo at then. But it's like it's a new, new like file, a new project from last class. Okay. Yeah, we can probably. Do you want? We can probably post. Do you want to like post the demo? That would be easier. Oh, uh, that would be helpful. Okay, we can probably do that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. There's emulator stuff on the website. Oh, there is emulator stuff. So it's 1.5. Yeah.
when you go to an activity and then have to get data back from an activity, uh, what's the best way to do that? When you're in an activity, you want to give data to another activity? Or, or like if you're like, you call like finish, right? Mm -hmm. And then you want to go back to that previous activity and give it data as well? Mm. If you call finish, I think, so finish destroys an activity, right? Uh, Are you resolving an activity? Oh, uh, you could you can you can do on activity on activity resolve. On activity resolve, right? That's the word. So that gets a result from the activity. So you can kind of set up. I think you can kind of set up like a nice? like a function structure where if so on activity, yeah, on activity result result, yeah, I think that's the best way. This method is deprecated. Mm, I looked at that. I don't know really? if this one would be true. Like, like, so like, usually oh, you yes. can like finish something. Start, start activity for resolve. Oh, sorry. When you, instead of starting activity, you can say start activity for resolve, which means when you close off the activity that you start activity resolve, the result, the result will, like, will go back. Will go back. So instead of using start activity, use start activity for resolve. I tried that and it said the me method was deprecated. What? Are still allowed to use We're, it? Oh, <laughs> deprecated, you're still allowed to use it, but it's not yeah. the best practice. Right, right. That's why I wasn't sure about it. Well, we ended up doing something like I think what you So in this case, you have array list of stream, right? But you don't want that. You want the array list of a specific data class. So you can create a data class of some. Oh, okay. So the last lecture I talked about, oh wait, I don't know how to use that. Like, do, do you know how to do a right click? Yeah. yeah. Right, right click. New. And then a uh, colon class file. And then, oh wait, just create, yeah, say okay. Data class, data class. Then you give it a name, like song or something like that. What do you think about this? And then I'll go back to it. I've never done this before, but then I'll go back to it. Um, I think oh, this is should not be kind of like. In, wait, is this supposed to be? Remember, like, you do, you move know. it in this folder. Yeah. Activity, move it into this folder. With like a certain code. code. The, the, the first one, yes. Once you finish, it depends like, if you refer back to it. So it only knows that. Right. It's and then, from in this case, you can have things like. What do you need? Basically, just four strings, right? Now. Right, right, it's four yeah, strings. Yeah, so I, 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 I got it. Okay, yeah. Cool. If yeah. you don't know like what to be the input for the data class, you can look at the last lecture. I don't know how like object references work across the text like that. <laughs> but what's the question? Like how? Let's say you pass like a list. Uh -huh. Usually, lists like object references. And then, like you, you pass a list to an activity. If you change the list in another activity, it should ch should it change. It's not gonna change the list in the original activity. Oh. It's not. You have to pass it back and forth. Okay, that's, what I, that's right. interesting. I did not know that. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna try and find these references for that because some yeah, interesting tools. Yeah, the the call activity for result sounded a lot nicer. And I thought it was like, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember doing this for volume. I think you something like this. I also used it before for one of my side projects. Is this for Spotify? Uh, yeah, homework. We did a, like thank you for this homework three. That wasn't sure if it was the best. Um, oh. So it's also for homework four. Yeah. Okay. Spotify. Cool. Needs it too because then you go and change the songs and it'll be reflected. It'll be reflected back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I think with that. You can like use intents and then change the like, um, like have like a oh then there's the case of like if you like go back what does that do? Yeah, that's interesting. I feel like it's crappy code if you just like 
finish the old activity and then call the old activity again. That would be crappy. So I, I yeah, see your point. I do this for my grades because <laughs> I couldn't figure out anything else to do. But I right. agree. I do not like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem good. Um, but that was like the only cool thing to come up with. Mm -hmm. I can't so figure out how to. Well, like, did you, what works? Like, does the get resolve things work? Call resolve whatsoever? Like, what's the it's, answer? Yeah, for sure. It should. I need to look more into it. I'm going to probably post some stuff tonight. And I'll get back to you. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Thank you. I feel it's, old now. It I, was working for me. I, I wish it was still around. Okay, that's I, a goaded, I, it's a goaded, it's a goaded method. I've encountered that like several times. It's like, oh wow, it looks like the solution used to be so easy. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's now it's more convoluted, yeah. yeah. Are you able to finish in four? We can showcase a solution after or something. Yeah, I do. I do. What did you initial? Early in Excuse me? Early in it. Like, how did you go bull? Did you do late in it? Yes, yes, that's the word. I'm dumb. Oh, because you want to refer to it in, like, the, in the next thing, like, right. I guess, yeah. Oh, yeah, we never taught the night. Whoops. We never taught that. Oh, late. Yes, we have. You have? Yeah. We've been doing that since like the start, like the demos and stuff. Using uh -huh. like, like doing it beforehand in the on period, mm -hmm. before the on period, and then Let's initializing in the on period. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, did you miscast something? Oh, yeah, I changed it. I don't forgot to oh, change the code. Layout. I, for this kind of thing, linear layout is easier to do. Oh wait, the background of the whole activity is not transparent. <laughs> you changed the whole thing to purple? Oh my gosh. Oh, change, you changed oh, the to the whole view. I forgot what does button 2 do. What? Oh wait, I meant to make that button 2. Okay, how can I get my screen sharing back? Uh, you can drag it right. You can, or you can do Windows P too. Let me see. Windows P. Well, hi guys. Here's the uh basically the solution to what like the exercise is about. Just another example of um on click listener. So if I press button one. I'm going to change the background of the, those texts to the color that they represent. And if I press button 2, it's going to change the whole background activity. So I guess achieving like whatever for button 1 is you don't have to use a callback interface. You can just set the text background color inside the unbind view folder. That's kind of the easier part. But what's the hard part is that pass the uh, Pass the position and the color um, from the adopter back to the main activity and then set the background color for the main activity. So in this case, we'll be using the callback interface. And I defined in the main activity that if the button 2 get clicked, 
it's gonna set the layout background color to whatever that's just getting passed back. So yeah, that's just another example, and we will be posting the solution on it or course website, right? Okay. Let us know if you guys have more questions, and there's gonna be two office hours tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Do I have to put more into the day? Do I have to put more into the day class than this? Like, what else do we need? You don't need this. Like, you don't need the, the like the backup. Oh, okay. I can just do it later. Yes. So data class is kind of, kind of like an abstract class kind okay. of thing. And, and then, what? Yeah, the other question is that if I want to like take some stuff, uh, if I want to then assign one of those values to xu dot test, like originally it's position when it was right. the, so I do position dot or something. Yes. Like so position. Oh no, it's outside of it. So like the, my data set, uh, the record and position will give you a sum info, and then in order to get each of the parameters for the sum info, you do the dot like outside, yeah, okay. and then there's all the choices you have. Got it. Thank you very much.